and welcome to Sunflower News. This is Ellie and Lily reporting the news. Today is Friday, February 6, 2015. Today is A Day. Triburger on a bun, corn, juice, and milk will be served for lunch today. It will be partly sunny with a high of 43 degrees today. The weekend looks decent with highs in the 50s. Cheyenne Pruitt is celebrating her birthday today. We hope you have a great day, Cheyenne. McCoy Johnson, Trinity Jacobs, Liberty Jacobs, Lily Maynard, and Kiana Meyer will be celebrating over the weekend. Have a great birthday, everyone. Our watchdog today is Mr. Johnson McCoy's den. Thanks for being here, Mr. Johnson. We hope you enjoy your day. The Miami County Spelling Bee is at 1 o'clock. It is being held at the Pale Middle School. Good luck, Brandon and Truman. Our next segment is called What's Happening at Sunflower? We'll start off with the running club. You might be involved or you should know someone that's in the club because it's a very popular place to be. We interviewed Mrs. Weaver to find out more. This is Coach Weaver. She is in charge of the Sunflower Running Club. Thanks for allowing us to ask you a few questions today. Why did you start the running club? What are the benefits of running? I started the running club because we have the Garmin Munchkin Marathon in the um, spring. And I knew we had a lot of kids that liked to run, and I like to run myself, too. And I've been a coach of other running groups. And so I wanted to get the kids involved in running here and uh, take them up to the Garmin Munchkin Marathon. The benefits of running are you can do this for, throughout your entire life. Um, it's something that you can do individually or on a team. It does not take much equipment. All you need is a pair of running shoes and some clothes. And go out and run. How many years have you been coaching the running club at Sunflower? This is my third year here at Sunflower coaching the running club. How many kids are participating this year in the running club? We have 73 currently, and I still have more kids that are wanting to sign up. What is the ultimate goal of the running club? Our ultimate goal is to get 25 miles in before the Garmin Munchkin Marathon and then complete our last 1.2 of the marathon in... Uh, in April on the 18th. We know you like to run too. Why do you like running? I like to challenge myself, challenge my body, see how far I can push myself, and I just enjoy running. What is the longest distance you ran? Mm -hmm. 103 and 6 tenths of a mile. Wow. How often do you participate in running events? I have um, two that I'm currently signed up for this year. And then I'm also pacing my husband in one. He has one coming up in March where he's attempting his first 100 to complete. And I will be pacing him in that. And then in June, I am signed up for a 12-hour run, which is called the Dizzy Go. That's up in Nebraska. So you go as many miles as you can in 12 hours. And then I'm also signed up for the Hop 100, which is 100 miles in September. Thanks, Coach Weaver. Good luck in your future runs, and we'll look forward to hearing all about the Garmin Munchkin Run. Thank you, and thank you girls for interviewing me today. You're welcome. Enjoy running. Hallway to finish the run, and the group that was in the hallway will come in here and finish the run. Okay, and then the group that was in the hallway Next, we'd like to mention the construction that's about to begin. In the next few weeks, you may notice members of the construction crew in and around Sunflower. They are starting to match brick colors and determining, or determine exactly where the new, the new office area and new classrooms will go. This will be very exciting to watch as the building begins. Can't wait. Mrs. Pitzer's class has been selling cookies all week. Their business has definitely made a profit. As of Wednesday, they've made $440. The money will be used to purchase an iPad for Sunflower. Way to go, Pitzer students! Lastly, oh where oh where have our geocaches gone? The third grade's Captain America... 
was discovered at a Christmas party in Oklahoma. Glad he didn't miss out on the holidays. He is supposedly going to keep moving around Oklahoma. We hope he's on the move as we speak. Hulk did not celebrate the holidays at all. He's been stuck in the same place in Missouri since November. Maybe he'll get to spend Valentine's Day in a more exciting location. My family moved 5th grade's Wonder Woman to Iowa back in November, and that's still where she's been hanging out. If she's still there in March, I may ask my dad if she can jump in the car and go with us to Nebraska. Well, that will do it for this week's edition of Sunflower News. Have a safe, fun week that's full of learning. Please stand and face the flag while we say the Pledge of Allegiance. Place your right hand over your heart.